Hey, right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video over on the Tate channel. So today, as promised, I was going to make a video based on the masters and basically explain to you guys how I'm doing it every time I get on a new account. But before we get into that, I just want to make something clear real quick. Lately, I've been getting a ton of messages on Instagram, on Twitter, on Discord, and I even had people come to my Twitch streams asking if I can get them the masters. That is a complete misunderstanding, and I don't know... Where you guys are really coming from with this? I'm not doing it anymore. It's something I used to do way back, like literally months ago. That's four months ago I started doing it, and I haven't been on anybody else's account for more than two months now. I'm not doing it anymore, and I'm just saying, if you guys really can't get it yourself, then I'm sorry, but you honestly don't deserve it. The camera is in the game for you to grind, and not someone else, and that's completely fair if you can't get it or you don't want to go for it. That's fair, but don't pay someone else to do it. Don't go on social media to back other people to do it, and definitely don't get a good to your account because then you might just end up getting banned but today i'm making this video basically guiding you guys i'm not going to go too in depth with the challenges and stuff i might make several videos in some of them if you guys want to see them today is basically just going to be a guide or something where i let you guys know how am i doing it myself and i'm going to explain some stuff and yeah let's just get right into it so your best thing while grinding camos is death for your shipment 24 7 if that game mode is not in the game i would just recommend showing Playing whatever you want until there is something like shoot how a shipment to rush 24-7 because you can get everything done way faster in those maps than you can in any other map in the game. And then obviously you can play hardcore or core. Um, I would definitely recommend hardcore because you can get way more kills. You get a lot more deaths, but that doesn't really matter while you're grinding camos. It's all about getting your challenges done as fast as possible, and hardcore is definitely way faster than core. So, and what do you start with when you get on an account? I would definitely recommend you, since I've been playing shipment 24/7 a lot, I notice and I know your stats are going up fast, like your score per minute. Your KD might not go up that much, but your score per minute is going up, which means that your lobbies are getting harder and harder. So a good way to start off getting the masters is definitely by doing this bright shield and melee weapons while your lobbies are still somewhat decent because in the end of the, the whole process you've been playing shipment for let's say a couple of weeks straight you've been using assault rifles, light machine gun and everything your score minute has gone up by a lot and you would definitely notice that especially in the end when you got to do right shield and melee weapons and I usually saved until the end I was usually one of the last categories I had left um, but I started out, I ended up doing them in the start now because everything in the end gets so much harder when your score minute is higher and your lobby just get worse and worse. So definitely the right shoulder knife is so nice to get out of the way. And probably in my opinion the hardest gun to do and the most annoying guns to do. So I won't even say to be honest Damascus is that hard, it's just kind of the process. There's some guns that are worse than others are, but see, I mean, some guns that are really annoying and you can struggle with. But you just gotta take it easy one step at a time. What do you used to say? You gotta know your limits when you're doing this. You gotta set a goal for yourself every single day when you get on. Um, that is honestly my best advice for you. That's what I did every single day I was grinding. I will get on and I've set a goal for myself saying that like, I have to get this gun done today. I have to get this done today. I have to get half of this gun today so I can finish it tomorrow. It's all about knowing those kind of limits and how much you're playing, what you're capable of and how much you can get done in one day. And then kind of just take it in small bites. Focus on one category at a time. So a big mistake a lot of people doing is that we're saving the launchers so let's say you just did the melee weapons you have the most annoying weapons out of the way what is the next thing to do because again the launchers are taking a while to do and you gotta work on them ASAP so the next thing you want to do is to get the pistols out of the way um, that might sound a bit random out of the mentioning launchers but now that I'm mentioning that is because you have the, the knife out of the way which is the secondary so you want to get the pistols out of the way which is basically the rest of the secondaries um, then when you're done with the pistols, you only have the launchers left and that means when you're grinding the assault rifles, the light machine guns, the, the shotguns, whatever you can always have a launcher on the secondaries and the launchers are really not that hard to do in the end of the day if you do them right um, you can literally do them really fast and with no effort honestly because if you're grinding other guns at the same time and the only time you have to pull out the launchers is to shoot down kill streaks which is super easy, it's literally just 5 seconds of your life that you had to pull out the launcher and shoot down a kill streak sometimes and again I think a lot of people are kind of not seeing how to do it a lot of people are saving the launchers so they only have four launchers left so the maskers and that is the biggest mistake that you can do because the launchers they take some time um, it's not how fast you really can get it done you gotta dream over time and just chill doing other guns at the same time so that's usually what I do after I get the right shoulder and the knife done I get all the pistols out of the way they are the easiest weapon category to get done 
um, every piece will take me an hour and a half on shipment maximum to do so I will have them done in the day and that's it again know your own limits set your goal for a day maybe do like a pistol a day or do get so much done as you can as possible obviously I can play more than other people you guys may have a job you maybe have school and a lot of homework to do again set your own limits you know your own limits I can't tell you how much to get done in a day that is completely up to you Again, take it in small bites and just have a goal for every day you get on, whether it's just a, a one gun or a challenge or something. Um, that is completely okay. The grind is entirely up to you and you decide how much you want to do every single day and how much you can get done. So, and that's it. When you do that, you have the pistols and you can slowly move on to all the primary weapons. And it's completely up to you what you want to do first. I would definitely recommend just focusing on one weapon category at a time. Like, let's say you're starting the assault rifles. The best way to get started on them is by ranking the best to the worst weapons in that category. Like, what's your favorite weapon? What's your second favorite? And then just keep going and then you have that list you have your top 8 favorite assault rifles Then you do it from the bottom you start with the worst gun and go towards the best Because it's always nice to have the, the best gun saved in the end you know right Because if you do all the best gun first and you have all the, the worst guns left Then you're just gonna end up hating yourself to be honest it's always just nice having, like, getting the, the worst guns out of the way and then going towards the better guns. And I will definitely recommend doing that for every single one of the categories. Start with the assault rifles maybe, then move on to the submachine guns, then do the snipers and marksman rifles. And always do yourself in favor and start with the worst guns. It is entirely up to you how you guys want to do it. I will, I've almost gotten this camera from scratch six times and I kind of have an idea. I found out a better way to do it than I started out doing and I ended up with this entire method. So it's just one weapon class at a time. Set goals for yourself every single day, whether it's a gun, whether it's a challenge, and just have fun with it. Don't stress out. If you don't want to go for it, then don't do it. And in the end of the day, it is just a camo. And it's not looking that good. And it's kind of just a flex to have the camo. But is it worth it? If you guys really don't want to go for it, then I recommend not doing it. Because it takes a lot, a lot of the time. And it's definitely a grind to get this camo for a lot of people. So, but if you guys have any questions, um, I would definitely want to make some more videos if you guys want me to. Based on maybe like how to get long shots, how to get monocles easily. And some more tips and tricks in general what you guys want to know but if anything i'm going to make a text channel on my discord i have a discord there's a link down in the description below but i'm going to make a channel called the masters if you have any questions to the masters like how to do that and that um type it in there and i will literally just do like a question and answer channel in a way i will see if i can answer all of your questions or if someone else could help you out in there so definitely if you guys can help join it up and find that text channel and ask in there and i will try my best to get back to everyone I won't recommend messaging me on Twitter or Instagram anymore because my DMs and messages have floated with methods already and I need to clear them all again and I can't guarantee I'm getting back to you guys anymore because there is so many people asking I just can't be bothered to even look through them at this point. Um, so use my Discord, that's basically going to be where I will communicate with you guys regarding the maskers. And if you guys want more videos, let me know in the comments section below what you want me to make a video on. I don't really get down to make videos on like how to get the best long shots, or mounted kills, or hit by a course, or whatever the freaking is, right? Um, just let me know what you guys want to see, and I will see if I can get it done like pretty, pretty quick. A bit fast in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and have fun grinding the masks.